Uh, today I'll talk on variance inflation factor, the VIF that in short. This variance inflation factor is the, the measure of the amount of multipollinearity in the set of multiple deviation models. So suppose you have these variables y is a, is a function of uh, say savings, is a function of the income of the household and the expenditure of the household. Now these two variables, the income and the expenditure of the households may be correlated to each other. Then if it is uh, correlated, then we of course obviously know that we, we have the problem of multipollinearity. But how to detect that? How to detect that we are we will be having the problem of multipollinearity? So this VIF is one tool through which we can find out whether there is the problem of multipollinearity or not. So if VIF is equal to one by 1 divided by 1 minus rj square when where your rj square is nothing but the coefficient of multiple determination of the j prediction that means uh, if i replace accepting this if i ignoring this if i replace only these two variables i get one particular r, r square or rj square or what we call the coefficient of determination now if we get uh, if we get the vif value to be 1 then we say like what we will have to interpret like what that we have no problem of multipollinearity. That means there is no any problem of multipollinearity in our multiplication analysis. Now, if VIF is less than or equal to 5, then we will say like what there is the problem of multipollinearity, but that is very, very low, or we say it like moderately uh, correlated, or there is the problem of moderate multipollinearity. And the third one. Suppose if GIF is greater than or equal to 5, then we will say like what? There is the problem of high multipollinearity or uh, the variables, that means this x1 and x2 variables are highly correlated. Then, of course, if it is highly correlated, then we know what? We will be suffering from the problem of multipollinearity. And you know, you already know, if we have the problem of multipollinearity, what will happen to our estimator? And what will happen to the variance of our estimators. Anyway, the focus of this uh, video is to check uh, the different values of VIF or what is the use of VIF in checking for multipollinearity. Okay.